Inside the box, you'll find all the hardware you need to successfully install Lucy. That includes the smart frame, the scout, the dashboard, the Lucy Link hub and wheelchair key, and the drill guides, instructions, and screws you'll need to complete the installation. You'll also need the following tools to install Lucy. A 3mm and 5mm Allen wrench, a 13mm box end wrench, an 8mm socket wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, some masking tape, a drill, and snips or scissors. Place the rear, left, and right smart frames on the ground around the wheelchair. Remove the screws from the railing on the back of the chair on both sides with a 5mm Allen wrench. If the wheelchair has taillights, remove them now to make room. These will be reattached at a later step. If the wheelchair has a seat elevator, raise the seat now to make installation easier. Slide the rear smart frame under the tie downs and up into place. Hold it so that the second to last hole aligns with the threaded hole that attaches the seating assembly to the chair. Insert one M8 by 16 millimeter low profile socket cap screw on each side to secure the rear smart frame to the wheelchair. Check that the bubble is centered in the bubble level to ensure the smart frame is mounted level. Tighten the screws. The manufacturer recommends 25 newton meters of torque on these fasteners. Remove the bubble level once the smart frame is level and secured. If the wheelchair has tail lights, use the contents of the headlight tail light hardware kit to attach them to the rear smart frame. Slide a rubber washer onto the threaded stud below the back plastic housing. Insert an M4 by 25 millimeter screw into the tail light and attach the tail light to the smart frame. Repeat on both sides. Remove the thumb screws attaching the seat assembly to the front seat posts. If the seating assembly is elevated, lower it before the next step. Now tilt the seating assembly back to gain access to the base of the chair. Caution, use the kickstand and do not go past kickstand travel to avoid damaging the rear smart frame. Remove the plastic cover to gain access to the Arnett cables. Unplug the main Arnett cable. Plug the male Arnett cable end from Lucy into the main wheelchair Arnett outlet. Replace the plastic cover and close the battery compartment. Turn the wheelchair on to ensure all power cables have been properly connected. You may have to power cycle the wheelchair twice to reboot Arnett. Turn off the wheelchair. Replace the thumb screws holding the seating assembly in place. If the wheelchair has headlights, remove them now to make room. These will be reattached once the side smart frames are installed. Begin on the left side of the wheelchair. Use a 5mm Allen wrench and a 13mm wrench to remove the three screws, two lock nuts, and tie down from the front left rail. Place the left smart frame so that the front hole of the bracket lines up with the front hole on the rail. Loosely insert one M8 by 16mm low profile socket cap screw into the next to last hole. To aid in reinstalling the tie down, you may want to use a piece of masking tape to hold each M8 nylon insert lock nut in the wrench. Insert an M8 by 22 millimeter socket head screw through the tie down and loosely connect it to the left smart frame with the M8 lock nut on the back. Repeat with the second M8 by 22 millimeter socket head screw and M8 lock nut to secure the tie down. Make sure the bubble is between the lines on the level taped to the left smart frame and tighten all three screws with the smart frame level. The manufacturer recommends 25 newton meters of torque to fasten these fasteners. 
Remove the bubble level once the smart frame is level and secure. If the wheelchair has headlights, reattach them now. Using the contents of the headlight, tail light hardware kit, slide a steel washer and rubber washer onto the threaded stud. Insert the M4 by 25 millimeter screw into the headlight and attach the headlight to the smart frame. Repeat the process on both sides. Choose the correct drill guide depending on the wheelchair's footplate, single footplate, or in this case, dual individual footplates. Tear out the drilling guide along the perforated lines. Line up the template as shown in the images on the drill guide and tape it to the footplate. Loosely insert one M5 by 8 mm Phillips head screw through the template and into the threaded hole to help keep the template in place. Now drill the two holes with a 5 16 inch drill bit as marked on the template. Remove the M5 by 8 mm screw and discard the template. Place the scout on top of the footplate, aligning the screw holes in the bracket with the drilled holes in the footplate. Loosely reinsert the M5 by 8 mm screw into the threaded hole. Raise the footplate. Place the number 10 washers on the remaining two M5 by 8 mm Phillips head screws and insert them into the 5 16 inch holes from the bottom of the footplate. Tighten all three screws. Route the scout cable along the side and top of the footplate using the zip ties and cable clips along the way as needed. Before applying cable clips, be sure to thoroughly clean the plastic with an alcohol wipe. Make sure you do not route the cable under the leg rest post. Raise the leg rest to its fullest extent and continue routing the cable along the side of the leg rest, routing toward the back of the wheelchair. Follow existing cabling and cable clips where possible. Ensure there's enough slack in the USB cable so that the seat and leg rest can move to their full extent without causing tension on the cable. All cables should be installed, bundled, and routed so as to avoid damage to the cables through pinching, dragging, and to avoid excess cable length that could lead to entanglement. To install the dashboard, you'll need to select the correct dashboard bracket depending on the wheelchair's drive system. Today we'll be installing on a standard joystick, also known as a CJSM joystick. Choose the correct left or right dashboard reference card. Use four 440 by 316 inch screws to attach the bracket to the back of the dashboard. Sandwich the dashboard reference card between them and ensure that the cable is routed correctly. Note that for newer wheelchairs, the joystick module is taller, so the dashboard should only be attached to the top holes on the bracket. Insert screws into the top holes on the dashboard to ensure the unit stays sealed. Use a size 5 Allen wrench to loosen the clamp holding the joystick module in place. Remove the joystick module and use a size 3 Allen wrench to remove the joystick module from the metal bracket. Insert the dashboard bracket between the armrest and the joystick module and reinsert the screws. Now route and zip tie the cable out of the way of the charge port, as shown. Reinsert the post in the armrest and use a size 5 Allen wrench to tighten the clamp. To install the dashboard, you'll need to select the correct dashboard bracket depending on the wheelchair's drive system. In this case, a color joystick. Remove the two screws on the bottom of the joystick on either side of the adjustment rod using a 3mm Allen wrench. Feed the joystick cable through the split in the color joystick bracket. Choose the correct left or right dashboard reference card.
Route the dashboard cable along the lower inside bend of the bracket and place the joystick module inside the bracket. Turn the joystick module upside down and slide the color joystick spacer in between the joystick module and the bracket. Insert two M5 by 16 millimeter hex head screws, tightening them with a three millimeter Allen wrench. Regardless of the type of dashboard bracket that was used, route the dashboard cable toward the back of the wheelchair, following existing cabling and using zip ties as needed. We're gonna use the Omni module to go with this Omni one. Next, choose which side you want the dashboard help to be on. I usually put it towards the user, so I'm going to use this card. So now we're going to mount the dashboard to the bracket, and we're going to take our card and sandwich it in between. This will all be attached with four screws. Now we're ready to install this onto the Omni. I'm going to unscrew the existing screws from the Omni. Okay, I'm gonna take my bracket here and I'm gonna insert it on the top holes between the mount and the Omni. Once you've finished, you'll know you've done it correctly if you can see the charge port here, and that's all there is to it. Regardless of the type of dashboard bracket that was used, route the dashboard cable toward the back of the wheelchair, following existing cabling and using zip ties as needed. All cables should be installed, bundled, and routed so as to avoid damage to the cables through pinching, dragging, and to avoid excess cable length that could lead to entanglement. Use an alcohol wipe to clean a flat area on the wheelchair seat back. Remove the Velcro backing from the Lucy Link Hub back cover and affix it to the cleaned area so that the key is oriented as shown and the cable opening is at the bottom. If the wheelchair has a seat elevator, clip the existing zip ties along the drag chain and route the rear smart frame USB cable along existing cabling and through the drag chain, zip tying it in place. Leave about four to six inches of slack in the USB cable before inserting it into the drag chain so that the smart frame can be rotated out of the way to allow for battery changes. Note, the Lucy Link hub may be placed anywhere on the seat back, as long as it does not limit the range of motion of the seat, armrests, etc. On wheelchairs that do not have a seat elevator, bundle up the excess USB cable and zip tie it to the back of the chair. Use a Phillips screwdriver to open the Lucy Link hub. Plug the Scout and Dashboard USB cables into the Lucy Link Hub and connect the Smart Frame USB cable to the Lucy Link Hub. Place the cables so that the Lucy Link Hub can be closed. Close the hub, reinsert and tighten the three screws. Note, it may be easier to place the cables and close the Lucy Link Hub by removing the back from the Velcro and holding the Lucy Link Hub horizontally. All cables should be installed, bundled, and routed so as to avoid damage to the cables through pinching, dragging, and to avoid excess cable length that could lead to entanglement. Confirm the dashboard reference card is attached to the Lucy dashboard. Confirm that the sensor status light on the dashboard is orange. Press the Lucy button and make sure the Lucy button lights up blue. Confirm that the chair can move in each direction when clear and that the chair stops in a blocked direction of travel. Congratulations, you've installed Lucy. Before releasing the wheelchair to the user, the system will need to be configured. With the user in the wheelchair, follow the instructions in the Lucy Quick Setup Guide.